Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today, the purpose of this video is to show you how you can loan windows on a machine that comes up with this particular screenshot that you see in the video. Um, this is You get this about halfway through your windows load, and what this means is whoever previously owned this uh, system had installed some type of a management uh, solution software package such as Microsoft Intune. They do that in large businesses to track their assets and it helps them to install software and get the right software set on their systems. But in order to use it, you've got to have a login to their system. Now, when you, if you were to have a laptop and it comes to this screen during your Windows install, I'm going to show you the very simple procedure to get around this. Okay, this is caused uh, when you are trying to hook up to the internet. So this simple solution is when you get to the proper screen where it says choose your Wi-Fi or choose your internet connection, don't do that. Okay, again, just don't hook to the internet when you get this screen. Let's connect you to a network. Don't do it. That's the whole key here in getting away from this, having to log in to a previously installed Microsoft Intune software package. So what you want to do, instead of choosing your network, is you want to look down in the lower left corner where it says, I don't have internet, and click on, I don't have internet. The point is, you don't want to get on the internet so that it will find this software link to the old user. So the first thing you do is say, I don't have internet, and then your next screen, continue with limited setup. And that is the trick. That's simple. You will do that, and then the it, Windows install will continue on to the screen you're familiar with, which is the screen, who's going to use this PC? And you type in your name or some user or whatever you want to type in, and uh, you are good to go, and you'll never see that message from that Microsoft Intune software again. That's simple. Just don't get on the Internet during install. Okay. Now, as soon as you're done with the install, now you want to get on the internet. So from the main Windows screen, you pull up your pop-up menu by hitting the little world globe in the lower right-hand corner, and it will show all your available internet options. In my case, I've got a few different Wi-Fi's. I'm picking the one called New Barn 5G. Connect, and now I'm on the internet and you can do your updates and finish your install. So again, it was a pretty straightforward way around that management software. All you have to do is don't get on the internet the, when you're doing your Microsoft Windows install. Just don't get on the internet. Say that you don't have any internet, let the install finish, and then sign on the internet and do your updates and um, you're good to go. That's all there is to it. Wanted to document this. We're running into that on some of the systems that we sell. Um, usually we can get the company to take that off, and that is an option. It can be uh, removed, but it, it isn't necessary if you just install it uh, doing the procedure that I just taught you. That's all you got to do, and you never have to worry about it again. So if you have any questions, leave comments below, like our channel, or subscribe to us. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.